Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So this video was made possible by EA Game Changer. So hopefully that's going to be the last time you guys are going to hear that from me with all Stranger Things. Did I say Stranger Things? Strangerville videos. Because tomorrow the game pack comes out and after that I don't need to say anything in the beginning of the videos. Which will make it easier on me because I forget everything and I'm surprised I haven't forgotten to do this um, at the beginning of the videos. But today I bring you guys a uh, renovation video. So I did mention this in my first episode of my Strangerville mini series. So if you guys have yet to check that out, I will link it down in the description and I'll also put an I button in the top right hand corner. So you guys can go ahead and click on it and watch if you like. I uh, really, so far, I mean, I've barely done anything, but I'm already super excited to see what the storyline is and all that. Um, I don't know yet. So um, I'm going to be recording episode two tomorrow, but I recorded this uh, renovation last night and I was like I was thinking of what if I, if I should record episode two today or do a renovation video but I wanted to like let the first episode kind of sink in before I like dive in again so we'll be doing episode two tomorrow which I'm really excited to see what is up but as I'm saying I'm renovating the trailer so I didn't want to make the trailer looking too nice but at the same time I wanted to look somewhat like Put together within the house I ended up um, going in and putting these like stains on the walls because I don't know I just wanted it to be kind of a grungy semi grungy looking place so before Dash moved in this trailer used to belong to another conspiracy theorist and there's a whole like story about it which I probably should go and read it because it's really interesting actually so you know I'm actually gonna go find the story and read it to you guys about what this what the lot description is so give me a second. All right, so I'm back with what it said. So basically, I had to go back in game and find it because I thought I had a screenshot of it, but I didn't. So anyways, so the description reads as Slip 42 used to be the home to a local conspiracy theorist. One day they just decided to leave, no warning or notice. They were just gone. Upon inspection, we found a strange note saying something about finding the answer to the ultimate question of life. The universe and everything. The tenant even left all of their belongings behind. Those conspiracy theorists are definitely a strange bunch, but lucky for you, Slip 42 is now vacant. So, I wonder what it is that, you know, the conspiracy theorist was going after to find the ultimate question. I mean, find the answer to the ultimate question of life. Now, does this have anything to do with what we're trying to find out? Who knows? I literally still don't know what we're finding out. Like, at all. But... I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm really interested. So we're definitely going to be finding that out, obviously. But um, I also wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys for the amount of support that I got on the first episode. I kind of wasn't really expecting a lot of people to be super into it. I know that there's people who, you know, are not into the pack, which is completely understandable. I know it's not going to be a pack for everybody. But since I'm somebody who, like, really is into conspiracy theories and all that stuff, like Shane Dawson, I freaking love him, okay? Like, his videos are, like, my life, okay? And so when uh, this pack came out, I was definitely, you know... Kind of worried about the fact again about replayability about you know whether or not it's gonna be like jungle adventure i mentioned this briefly in my first episode but because a lot of people are worried about that a lot of people are not going to be as interested in getting the pack and maybe see people who are builders might be more interested in getting like the items more so for the build purposes rather than like the story um or even the world the world in my opinion is so beautiful but it's your money you're gonna be purchasing the pack whether or not you think it's worth it that's up to you but i think that as far as right now i can't say much on uh, the pack as a whole because I have not dived into gameplay. I doubt that there's going to be replayability. Um, like I said, it's probably going to be most likely be like Jungle Adventure, in my opinion. But I, I still can't say all too much due to me not diving in too much and finishing off the story. Because story supposedly is three to five hours of gameplay. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's a decent amount of time. But then again, everybody plays at different speeds. So... You know, some people might rush through it real quick. Some people might take forever. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to play it. I don't want it to be like forever because I don't want to have like a 30 part series or anything. Just saying. Um, I'm already dealing with five Let's Plays at the moment, which is already way too much for me. But I'm trying to stick through it. And y'all already know that I'm struggling with uploading certain series. So y'all are, you know, troopers if you guys are still hanging out with me. I appreciate it very much. But 
yeah, so um, moving on to talking about the build because I haven't said really much about it. So I really wanted to kind of separate the living area and the like kitchen kind of like, I guess, office. I mean, it's not really an office because like there's not really much space here, but I really like the idea of trying to work with a small space because it's like, one, it's easier to clutter because it's not as much space to, you know, fill up. Um, and I'm really loving the way it looks inside. Um, but even though it looks like there's a lot packed in there, I mean, there kind of is a lot. I wanted it to make it seem that way. Now, I pretty much used up all the money that they had. So this lot ended up being, I think, 25000 or 26000 So it's not super expensive. I think it's probably my cheapest lot that I've ever made, I want to say, um, except for maybe my base game house, which I, or was a base game starter home? That's what it was. Other than that one, but that one's like, you know, base game. So like, obviously it's not gonna be super expensive, but yeah, so I was pretty proud of myself that I was able to stick within somewhat of a range. So I did, I did end up giving them a little bit more money, but that's because like I ended up spending a little bit too much. Um, and so the outside of the house, I was kind of confused on what to do because I've never like decorated a trailer area and at first I was like you know making this whole area green I mean it was already green enough as it is um, but I went back later after I recorded this video um, and so I was looking at the trailers next door and they had like these lines um, I guess it's supposed to be like fake grass I'm assuming because I mean they're in the desert so I'm assuming that it's supposed to be not real so I went back after I recorded the video and made like lines um kind of just to represent the fake grass look so I originally added like dirt detail and stuff um and then I took it away so I did really struggle a little bit building this I don't know why I was super like motivated and excited to work on this trailer and then when I got to it I was like what do I do uh, and so basically all I really ended up doing is changing the outside color because I was really, really feeling the green I'm not a big fan of green like I mean green is cute sometimes but like not my favorite like blue blue is where it's at for me And I really wanted to use that bathtub terrarium thing whatever the heck it's called I love the look of that so much. I was like, you know, what? I could just add that into my like garden so um, or front yard I don't know this is much barely a front yard uh, and I was planning to expand the trailer in itself but I decided to kind of make it like a challenge for myself to fit everything that I needed inside and the outside I feel like I don't really need to fill out all that much like I the general area I think is just the front like that gated off area and the rest is kind of just like a part of the environment to me so I didn't really mess around with like the exterior you know plants or anything because to me I felt like this trailer was just like that spot and that's it um well I could have but you know I just decided to not um but yeah I thought it was really cool to challenge myself and trying to fit as much as I could in the actual inside of the trailer now the only thing that I'm really missing from the inside is I guess you could say a stove now I was thinking what would have really worked with this is since there's like a whole trailer theme it just came into my head now but if they had like one of those um tabletop stoves I don't know how to explain it it's like they're portable stoves. I only remember this because I think, I don't know if I actually own one, but I know that in House Flipper, I'm pretty sure there's like these like stoves that you can just like put on top of a counter, unless I'm going insane, but I swear those exist. But it've been so cool because then like you don't have to have an actual stove, but then again, it does require another counter space. So I don't know, maybe it's not as good of an idea, but I ended up um, in the end putting a, uh, what's it called a grill outside as well so that they have like a place to cook other food because for now they don't really have space for a stove and so like that's a thing um I don't know maybe I'll expand it in the future but for now I'm really not so worried about their living space I just wanted to make it look you know nicer because I don't know I, let me be honest the default trailer was not cutting it for me so I had to go and do something because usually I either build a house or I find one on the gallery and at this moment in time I could not just go get one from the gallery and so I took it upon myself to just go ahead and renovate it. So um, that is that. 
I'm going to go ahead and actually end this video off here. So tomorrow there will be an episode 2. And also I wanted to say that I did check this build to see if um, it was playable. Um, I had one of my characters go around and like walk and see if everything was working. And it's working fine, which is fantastic. So I was worried about that if anything was getting in the way. But yeah, so... Regardless of that, I'm going to go ahead and go. Episode 2 will be out tomorrow, and stay tuned till the end for some screenshots. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys again, and I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.